Welcome back to Honey's Adventures in Siberia. So we solved one puzzle only to open up another. Now the question is, where is a uh, key? We need a Volber key to further open the mausoleum. And there's no point in going and looking, since we had that lovely animation that showed us, and our cutscene that showed us. There's no point in going to look, since we don't have a key that'll fit that. Let's see if our lovely old gentleman is freaked out by the bells. Hello again. If you have five minutes to sit and talk, I could tell you a thing or two about the olden days. I am sorry. I, I really am in a hurry. Ah, uh, it is a pity. Nope, nothing new from him. So it looks like we need to go check out the factory now. Of course, the key. We already wound him up earlier. Very nice. Wow. Choices. Well, let's just start path on the right. Work our way around, I guess. This looks more like the house than the factory. See if the door is open. Door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Well, looks like we can go around back. with the key. I doubt the door will be open. That'd be too easy, but we might as well check. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Alright, let's explore around a bit. Ah, looks like we've got a bit of a hedge made. Maze. Good morning! You've got a magnificent garden here. Oh, please don't talk about it. Since my gardener automaton broke down, there are weeds everywhere. You can't imagine how much work it takes me. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. We're not used to doing without our robot help here in Veladilan. But everybody says that we're going to have to get used to it. Alright, that was almost painful. She's a local and she pronounced Valadilan Valadilan. And she said the, the dreaded robot word. I thought I was going to be in trouble if I used the robot word. All right, let's go back. All right, let's see what's over here. Check out the shut door first.
No point. It's locked. All right. Let's see what's in the open gate. Oh, excellent. There is our key. It kind of makes sense. You know, they have gardener, automatons. They would be a good spot. It would be a good spot to stick those. Kind of a common area. It's also the beginning of the game. The one thing that's really nice about Siberia that I enjoy is it is not as much about the pixel hunt, finding the one perfect little spot you have to have your camera angled at to solve the puzzle, as it is about just enjoying the story and unlocking the mystery as you go. And I really think that's its biggest appeal. The fact that it is more story driven and adventure than really hard obscure puzzles. Not that there aren't some difficult ones. Alright. Looks like we are in Anna Volberg's attic. Let's see what we can find in here. Not put us right back where we started. Excellent. Now this is going to be our ink bottle for the puzzle that we found earlier in the notary. So we're on our way to approval of something. Self-approval. This is Anna's journal, her diary. It's a really good story. I encourage you to go ahead and read the whole thing. To sum it up very briefly, when Hans was 10 or so, he found a, uh, with her in a cave, he found a mammoth doll, and he was climbing up to try to take it, and he fell down and he hit his head, and he really was never the same after that. He remained very childlike and reserved. It affected him, but at the same time, he was an absolute genius for the craft. And so he still worked at the factory and created a lot of things, even at a very young age. But eventually, he wanted to go find his mammoths. He never lost that obsession with mammoths. He drew them, he, he built little mammoth toys. He wanted to find real mammoths. And so eventually, he wanted to leave home and his search for mammoths. Dad didn't like that idea. And push come to shove, Hans left anyway, and uh, Rudolph decided to make his fake death and let everybody believe he's dead, like we already heard, rather than um, admit that his son didn't want to work at the factory. <gasps> Mamas. You draw mammoths for Momo? Ah! Momo, it's you! You scared me! Alright, looks like maybe Momo's getting obsessed with the mammoths too. What are you doing in here? Momo want mammoth's picture, like Han's picture. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of a mammoth with me. Take paper and pencil and draw mammoths for Momo. <laughs> you don't give up easily, do you? All right. You remember me, don't you? I'm Kate. Draw mamas for Momo, please. You must find me a bit rude turning up places uninvited where nobody knows who I am. <laughs> See, it's kind of my job, you know, to get involved. But don't mind me. Just carry on with what you're doing. Momo not mind. Anna kind. Never angry. That's right. She won't be angry. Not now. You're a sweet kid, Momo. 
but I can't draw, least of all mammoths. Draw mammoth easy. Hans draw mammoth. Anna draw mammoth. Kate too. I mean, maybe I could do a quick squiggle of a box, say, that has a mammoth inside. No, Momo want a real mammoth. <laughs> My goodness, you are one stubborn boy. I'd like to point out that that mission changed. Although these are the exact same things we talked about before, this is a very intuitive, intelligent sort of um, system that's built in here. So our current mission right now, we have to get him a mammoth picture. And so that's what she talked about. We're not going to ask him for his luggage or to help us move our luggage like we did before with help. We're going to ask him a different question for help. So this is why it's really important that you still talk to people and go through the trees even though you think you've already done this before. There's something I'm looking for, but I don't quite know what. I need a clue, anything that might tell me where Hans is. You want to help me, don't you? First you draw mammoth for Momo. And if I help you, you help me, right? Mm, Momo no, Kate is kind. Kate draw mammoth for Momo. Then Momo tell Kate secret. You've got a secret? First draw mammoth for Momo. Do you know if Anna came here often with Hans? Momo want mammoth's picture, like Hans' picture. What's going to happen to you now that Anna is gone? Momo big now. They want Momo live at inn. Momo don't want. Momo take care of Momo. From what I've seen, you look pretty resourceful. It must be fascinating to live in a village full of automatons. Automatons made by hands. Difficult work. When Momo big, he do like hands. Momo friend of automatons. Tell me, Momo, did you come here a lot with Anna? Mm-hmm. Anna like Momo. Anna like Hans. Anna on journey. Oh, well, I guess you could say she's on a journey. All right, we're going to go ahead and leave and get him his picture. Momo, I've got to go now. But see you later, maybe. Now, some of you may have already seen it. I do happen to remember this puzzle. As you know, I've played the theme before, and there is our mammoth. The first time through, I did not see this, though. And I actually left and wandered all over the village trying to get people to do this mammoth picture for me. It's part of that look everywhere. There we go. A mammoth. Excuse me, a mammoth picture from him. All right, let's give him his picture he wants so bad and find out his secret. Mm, thank you, Momo happy. Now follow Momo. Momo show his secret to Kate. Well, chasing Momo down could take some time, so I think it's a good place to pause the video for now. I would like to thank you for watching, and if you enjoy games like this, support the developers buy them in fact siberia and siberia 2 are available on steam right now so you can even download it not even have to find the old dvds i happen to have hard copies see you next time and we will chase down momo